My name is Leslie Palmer, I'm the Chief Architect at the Dementia Services Development Centre at the University of Stirling. The Dementia Services Development Centre, or DSDC, was established 25 years ago um, by Professor Mary Marshall. We are currently in the Iris Murdoch Building within the Faculty of Social Sciences at Stirling University. And our building is the first dementia-friendly public building of its time. The DSDC are an international centre for knowledge and exchange. We have a multidisciplinary team of clinical specialists, architects and designers, all of whom work together to improve the lives of people living with dementia. Dementia is a concern internationally. It is a challenge that many communities and individuals and healthcare providers are trying to overcome and our centre is there to look at how we can improve the lives of people through the built environment and through care provision. Our design team have seven dementia design principles that are developed to support not solely somebody with dementia but to also incorporate people with normal age related impairments. So for the population of over 65 our design principles are there to support them in their everyday lives and support their independence. We have two key critical surfaces when considering inclusive design internally and that's the junction between the wall and the floor. This incorporates both the door, architrave and skirting as part of that juncture. What we look to achieve is a minimum of contrast of 30 points of light reflectance value between the floor and the wall. This improves visibility, this improves legibility of the three-dimensional aspect of the space and helps people both with dementia and normal age-related sight loss, visual impairment, to read and perceive and move through their environment safely. GSDC are working with manufacturers such as Forbo because we are interested to understand the impact of specifying and application of products within the built environment, specifically on our ageing population. And our design team have been working with Forbo now for over a year, reviewing, identifying and analysing Forbo products in respect of their suitability to use within an environment for people with ageing impairments and with dementia. We are very keen to continue this relationship and to continue working with other manufacturers so that in 10 to 15 years time we'll have fairly robust, credible research evidence base from which to understand better how the built environment and our specifications can improve the lives of people. <laughs>